Let's see if it can um, sort itself out. Oh, blast, it's still glitched. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> oh, daughter. Oh, daughter. Where are you? Oh, great, I'm gonna have to go all the way. Don't put down with it. How can it be stuck in this damn room? Oh, how the hell did they not follow me? Did I went too far ahead? Doctor? Anyone? Hello? Is there anyone here? So we got through that. Went through here. So where is the doctor? Where is everybody? What is a Okay. I don't see the doctor or Tuvok anywhere. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, there he is. What are you doing hiding me on there, you coward? As Tuvok said, we have no choice. If we want to stop this spear from moving, we need to activate the gateway. Our time here is limited. The Voth will return in force. We have to do this now. There yeah. is no other option. In that case, shut it down now. Doctor? Are you stuck? Maybe I'll have to do it. Oh, lucky I can do it. Hi. Right. So sorry. I wish I could have found a better way. I failed you both. Yeah, you did you well. well on this. If there was another option, we would have found it. One moment. We are being hailed. Tuvok here. Chief Engineer Tarkram of the Dyson here, Admiral. Acknowledged, Chief. Are all of your systems restored? The opening of the gateway cleared up the ambient distortion disruptions. Do you need transport? Oh, yes. yes. I want to get off this station now. We are ready to depart. Chief, do you have a lot? Damn it. Admiral Tuvok, come in. Dyson, three to be mine. Oh, you need to get out of the hot zone. Move. Oh, that's this dandy, isn't it? Radical right, people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This place is all falling apart on me. We're going to die. We're going to die. Shut the fuck up. Or oh, as I kill you myself. And believe in me, this weapon has seen a lot of things. Blood included. Your blood will be added to it. You, sir. Just give the word. Beam us up now. I oh know, I'm a rude captain. <laughs> right, now then. So, do I have to chat uh, a lot to make it load? So, if I was just to go chat, 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 chat. It will just load up fast, right? Okay, how about if I just talk about random stuff again? You really like to take your time loading, don't you? <laughs> then again, you've got to expect it to be temporary. Temperamental, sorry. This is um, so many years old, so I need to update it at some point. Ah. I have you on board, sir. I I'm Chief Engineer Tarker. The fleet in your ship are still engaged with the Voth, but several Voth ships are making their way towards the gateway. One of their dreadnoughts has already passed through. As the only available ship, we have orders to stop the other Voth from entering the gateway. 
Understood. Let's see what this baby can do. I do love these Titan ships. They're really lovely designed and such. Let's go and tear up some of these off. Luckily these parasites are easy to um, hurt. That's one. That's two. Wait a minute. Something else around. Takes care of that one. Ah, uh, you're no match for me. Now uh, for you, since we've got your escorts. Oh, tough little thing, aren't you? Not exactly the tactical smart, but hey, it works. Now then, how about going through that gateway? Go get them. Navigational readings indicate we are in the Delta Quadrant. However, we are inside a Dyson Sphere, and there are no known structures of this type in this region. I'm detecting the presence of a Starfleet vessel, the USS Gold. That ship disappeared on a survey of the Janolan Dyson Sphere at the precise instant the Iconian Gateway Network was reset to save New Romulus. So we in that sphere, hey? sphere was discovered by the crew of the USS Genola in 2294. The USS Enterprise D rescued Montgomery Scott, a survivor of the Genola 75 years later. However, it now appears that the Genola sphere had the same jump capabilities as the Solanae and moved to this location with the gold inside. Interesting. So what's the status of the gold? I'm detecting disabled systems on the gold, but there is no weapons damage. Also, sensors indicate that the Voth Dreadnought has its weapons armed, but has not fired. What do you suggest? Let's hold the gold. Give him a hand. Hey gold, what's up? I don't want any trouble. I'm on a mission of exploration. Let me tell you how we got here, and maybe that will convince you. We were on a routine survey in the Janolan Dyson Sphere when something happened. Systems that have been dormant for centuries activated. The energy readings were off the scale. Then a flash and... Continue. My nav computer claims we're in the Delta Quadrant. If that's right, this entire Dyson Sphere somehow moved itself more than 50,000 light years from its previous position. Since then, we've been stuck. I would have taken Voyager's path back home if we could get out of the sphere. The doors were locked tight and the gateway powered down as soon as we arrived. That sounds like a problem. Glad to have the help. Supplies are running low. But what was that ship that just passed us? Shares some signs of Voth tech, but our databanks don't have anything like that. Let's just say it's a huge, massive Voth dread. Another Dyson sphere? It's taken us 40 years to study this one, and we're not even close to understanding it. And if that ship was Voth, 
would explain why they ignored our hails. They came in with their weapons armed and then simply stopped. Didn't see us as a threat. Well, that's the good thing. The ship set course for the sealed door and is just sitting there. They're ignoring us. I promised my crew we'd get home. If you could send over a team with some spare components, I can get this ship ready to travel. Say no more. As for our four friends, let's go and chat with them. I have extensive experience with the Vought. While they are arrogant, it is not like them to completely ignore a potential threat. It may be that they sense a greater danger. I suggest we approach and attempt to hail them. Voyager found that some Vought were open to negotiation. We should make every attempt to find a peaceful solution. Sounds like a plan. Let's get over there. Hey, yo, Foth. Wanna talk? Becoming peace. Warning. Guess not. Well, that's a funny way to say hello. So you're just gonna hold us here, boneheads? The Voth are moving towards the door. Tuvok? Your query will have to wait, Doctor. Shields are down and we... <sighs> You're not. <laughs> well, you treacherous oh, bitch. No. Cooper. The weak shall perish. Don't you get tired of saying that? Captain, the Undine outside of the sphere are powering weapons. The mammalian ship is still disabled. Arm all weapons. We will destroy the creatures and then return for the mammals. Yeah, like that's gonna happen, buddy. I think Species 8472 has a different thing. I... I am unharmed. But we are in danger. Right. We are deep within the Delta Quadrant. Right. Right where Cooper wanted us. You know my head's um, not, not know fitting here, yeah? This infiltrator has impersonated Cooper. Mm -hmm. Or the extent of what he has done. So? However, I am quite familiar with the tactics of Species 8472. We will repel the Undine and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the renewed threat. Let's get to it then. Finally, a worthy adversary for my new ship. Let's not go too far, buddy. These guys are the ones that actually sh one shot in the Borg. I'm gonna bust up this one. They must not know Vulcans that well, then. Because for them to say, uh, uh, well, ask a Vulcan if they get angry or what, they must not really know them that well. Because if memory serves, um, Vulcans are... Well, they say that they're incapable of emotions. Well, yet they are, but yet they don't show it. Let's not push it, buddy. Yep. Listen to the man. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, take out those ships. Mighty the set does pack a punch though when um, that baby gets going. Yeah. Like, like you said, if we can actually break out of this bloody thing. Looks like you can use a hand. Thanks. Appreciate it.
No. It's funny how these are dreadnoughts when they're completely small, but then again, dreadnoughts could be anything really, whether it be big or small. Wait, where the hell did they go? I don't see them. Wait. They've blocked out my sensors. That's what they've done. They're little sh turds. Good thing the Lisette was um, shooting it because I wasn't when they saw them. Wow. That is a lot of traps of mines. The way that ship just goes in there and just starts blitzing away with its cannons. Yeah, tough little things, aren't they? Okay, it survived that one. There we go. Yeah, but you can kiss my ass, Cooper. Wanna be? <clears throat> Good to see you. We would have arrived sooner, but there was a vault fleet in the way. Ah, not a problem. Congratulations on a successful mission. Now the Romulan Republic will take over. We'll set up a command center for further operations. I'm sure command will contact you when your presence is needed. Aren't we supposed to be allies? Neither the Republic nor the Klingon Empire has any authority in this sphere. This sphere was discovered by the crew of the USS Janolan, a Starfleet vessel. It was mapped by the USS Enterprise D, a Starfleet vessel. Since then, it has been studied and claimed by the United Federation of Planets. We will be the ones who determine what happens here. No one else. Wow. We've worked with the Alliance in the Solon sphere because that was the best option. But this sphere, no matter its location, has been under Federation control for four decades. If you want to study the sphere, we can open negotiations. But the current state of war makes that a less than optimal option. Until then, I will defend the Federation's claim if I must. You know, we should be working together against these guys. Fighting over this sphere is not an option. It would divide our strength. Precisely what would benefit the Undine. The Voth chose to fight instead of cooperate. They were destroyed. We can choose not to be enemies. It is time we did so. I agree with the man. This matter is far from settled. We cannot simply put aside territorial claims because someone else wants what we have. However, I will consult with Sub Commander Cole and Starfleet Command and discuss the situation. Okie dokie. The Romulan Republic what the fuck? To take responsibility for areas within our jurisdiction, but I do not wish to cause a rift in what has been a successful joint action. I like a, um, you know, sense of reason. However, I will not be put in a position where I must choose between the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We have agreements on both sides that must be honored. Sub Commander Cole can handle the details. I am a ship captain, not an administrator. Do you know what? I like the fact that um, Jorak is more like balancing with um, both sides, really, rather than taking the side of the other. Cooper's departure has lifted the miasma in my mind. An affliction that I did not even realize was there. He was influencing me. He used the psychic abilities of the Undine to influence my thoughts. And the results are an effect of my failure. Hey, that was his fault, not yours. I been able to detect his influence. Hey, the Undine are clever bastards, you know. We have fulfilled our mission to neutralize the jump capabilities of the Solene Sphere, only to open up a gateway that the Undine can now use to reach our space. They will no longer have to create rifts from fluidic space. Was this Cooper's plan all along? I suggest we return to Sub Commander Cole. We must attempt to save the fragile peace of the Alliance. I second that.
The sphere is under Federation control. This sphere is only accessible through an Alliance-controlled gateway. Then perhaps it is time to end this Alliance! This is neither the time nor the place for this. Commander Jarak is correct. The Undine are a threat to us all. Now they have direct access to our space. I propose a summit. We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy. I volunteer to mediate these talks. Dr. Cooper manipulated me to achieve his goals. It is only logical that I take responsibility for what has happened here. Very well, Vulcan. We will finish this later. You know, Tuvok, even though I'm on the Klingon side, I'm actually on your side in this case. And that, as they say, is that. That was actually a lot of fun doing that all over again. I hope you enjoyed what I've done so far. I will do the next episode and such, and continue on with um, the stories. Until next time, y'all, you'll take it easy, and peace out.